I'm Mandy and this is my channel Make It So. So today is Friday Sews and this is a slightly different format um, because on the sewing community with Jen we agreed to do a Friday Sews day to day. So if you hashtag that you'll be able to see all the different vlogs from the normal Friday Sews people and I think we use both hashtags just to get, you know, make sure that we're on both channels for people to view. Um, I s was going to do it last week, but uh, I worked a lot and I didn't think it'd be very interesting watching me walking in to work, out of work and not getting much sewing done. And so I started this from Sunday on the filming and I forgot all about showing you what I did last Friday because I was going to my friend's Halloween uh, celebration and in my last vlog I showed you the Jenna dress. The only thing is I said that it gave me Wednesday vibes, which it still did, but I said I was doing dress A, which is very confusing because when you look at the line drawings here, dress A is actually the one on the right. Now, of course, when I said dress A, I meant this one, which is dress B. So I did it and I'll so show you some pictures once I've gone through it. This is the version I had. I'll just try and see if I can get you better on the film. So you can see the collar on the actual pattern is rounded. And I said that I'd like to do a more pointy collar, which is similar to what Wednesday Adams wore. Um, the other thing I found was it had lining and I had to do 10 darts. Now, I'll be honest, about a year ago, as soon as I saw the instructions, if I saw it had darts, I ran away from it and put it down and tried something easier. But now I just, I'm fine with them. Once you can do them, they're easy, but 10. <laughs> so they had um, two darts here, and then you had bust darts, as well as your bodice waist darts. And of course you had to repeat that in the lining. So that's eight straight away. And then on the back, they also had the darts here. Um, this was supposed to be, I'm just going to see if I can. you can actually see this in the camera. I'm sorry if I'm not being very clear. So this was meant to be an invisible zip. And I don't think it affects the wear because it was for Halloween after all and it was my first one I'd done with the lining, which, like I say, I'm really happy about. But um, the invisible zip took me three hours. Three hours because... I started following instructions from a book um, I've got and it was more based on a skirt waistband so I read them I done the basting and everything was really proud of it and and then it says undo the zip I couldn't undo the zip so I had to unpick it and then when it came to the final bit I realized that it wasn't gonna work so I had to unpick it all and I followed a YouTube video because of my visual learning. I am easier watching things. And I watched Tom Kit Statue Stitchery, sorry, Tom Cat Stitchery, her video. And it even um, was exactly the same as what I was making, which was a dress with lining. So that made much more sense. And if I'd watched that the first time, it would have taken me 20 minutes, half an hour. So that left me, um, I finished it and I wore it that night and then Saturday I worked all day so there was no sewing or filming then. So I hope you enjoy what I've done. It's um, obviously day to day so you'll get clips from every day. Um, I think there's one thing that I didn't do, um, when was that, I'm trying to think, there was one day where I said I'd get back to you on how I did. I think that might have been Tuesday, but then I spent the afternoon filming my knitting and stitching vlog. And by the time I'd edited it, I, I couldn't focus anymore on anything. It does take a little while to edit these things. 
so you obviously get to see the best result but it takes a while to cut and add things so that was my Tuesday so it's still sewing related but just not quite the sewing that I love to do. I, I don't mind editing but I still think I'm quite new to it and I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it so next week if I do my day to day I'm going to edit each section or each day as I go because that'll be a lot easier. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll leave you to it and I'll speak to you at the end. Bye for now. Good morning, it's Sunday the 22nd of October. I'm with Mr Make It So and we're off to Essex for my first Essex social. I have my coffee, much needed this morning as it was quite an early start. So I'll let you know how I get on later. So this morning I got up early and I've managed to cut out my deer and doe um, Sirocco. So I can get on with that today and hopefully I'll be able to show you what it looks like later. I've adapted it slightly so we'll see what it looks like. Monday the 23rd of October and we're now off somewhere very exciting where I will reveal what I'm wearing. So we're here at the pumpkin patch. I'll give you a little twirl. I thought it would be a brilliant place to take a picture of my new Sirocco jumpsuit. Just got back from our pumpkin patch with my little photo shoot, so I'll insert a couple of photos here. Um, I just wanted to talk about the social that I went to yesterday on Sunday to Essex. Um, I got there and I totally forgot about taking any photos or filming. Um, I got to meet some lovely people. So the Essex Social is run by Dida from Dida Sews on Instagram and obviously in Essex and it's um, it was just a lovely day. It's her first one she's done. It was brilliant and we all come away with a little goodie bag which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I got to meet Julie from Julie Sews Her Own Clothes. That was brilliant to see her in person because we chat on Instagram. Um, I've got a little list because there's a few names I can remember. So I met, um, I saw Sandra again from BTHQ and that was lovely to see her. And then Teresa, Debbie and Susanna. Um, there was other people and I apologise, I can't remember everybody's names, but I'm hoping to see them all again next month in November because um, it was a good, it was only an hour and a half to get there. The traffic was brilliant and I was home by half past four but because I really was enjoying sewing up my latest Sirocco jumpsuit which you can have a little sneak preview like I say there'll be some photos up on the side um, I really wanted to get it finished and I only had the sleeves to do which I did adapt I used my sleeves from the Sew Over It Estelle dress just for the length side of things and just to get the so it slanted in and other than that I think what else did I have to do left on it just the side seams so I was quite productive in in the five hours I was there which is you know we did chat but I felt like we could have had so much more to chat about and it would have been it could have lasted a lot longer but obviously it's just because it was so good that you just got so engrossed in what you were doing that it, it just goes really quickly. So the goodie bag, excuse my little rustling, we got a paper bag. In it we got a couple of little um, cards that I'm gonna get framed. And the first one says, home is where the sewing machine is. And the other one, I love this one. It says sociopath, one who engages in sewing at the exclusion of daily life. <laughs> And then we all got a eye mask 
and a little tape measure. My daughter's already taken this because it's green. And then we got a thread and bobbin holder. I do use these for my Maraflex so that I don't get them mixed up with my normal threads. Dida's son made this on a 3D printer. She set him a little challenge to make his own machine. I think he's done a brilliant job. Look at that. And that's going to take pride of place on my sewing machine. Then we got uh, some buttons. I think we all got different ones. So they're really pretty. There's six of them. So let me just see if I can undo this. It's almost like a kilt um, sewing pin as well. Safety pin. Can I get it undone? No. I'm sure you can. But I'm just doing this quickly. So there you go. And then... We all love these. We got some labels. So I got a cute little koala and it says, I'm probably thinking about sewing, which is brilliant. Then we got a little cute one that says me made. And we got one that says nailed it. And one that says, sewing is my self-care. My daughter said I should cross out the uh, tumble dryer one so that nothing gets dry, but I don't tend to dry any of my homemade stuff because if that shrunk, I'd be absolutely mortified. Uh, this one says, maker. And there's some cute little pattern on the back. And then the last one, oh no, I've got two more, sorry. One says bespoke on both sides and then stitched which I put a little pattern on the other side. So I thought that was a really lovely gesture as it was her first one she just wanted to offer that to us. Um, so that was my my little day really on Sunday and I'm going to a virtual one on Sunday so that'll be slightly different because it's all online. But it's still nice just to meet other like-minded sewers. So we had a good time. So I haven't been at home for a few days with work and obviously going to the social. And as you can see, I need to clear up a bit. So that is going to be my next task. The pile down here is still for my knitting and stitching vlog, which I'm hoping to do shortly so I can clear that up straight away and put it all away. It's all been washed, so I haven't got much left to do on that. I'll leave, leave it with me and I'll show you it later. Tuesday and I'm just taking our dog for a walk and then we're going home and hopefully going to make something with the Halloween fabric so I'll take you along later hello it's still Tuesday and I thought I'd just come on because I remembered something I didn't say about yesterday at the pumpkin patch so I went there like you know for my deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit photo shoot and a lady come up to me and she said I love your jumpsuit where did you get it from and of course I had to say that I made it and her face was a picture she was just so shocked she went I weren't gonna say anything but my daughter told me to come and speak to you and I was like yeah I've made it I only made it yesterday I've finished it in a day and she's like wow so that was really lovely because you don't do it for that recognition but when someone comes over and admires something you've made it just makes you feel really good about it so that was my little adventure yesterday um today i haven't done any sewing i've managed to do a little vlog about the knitting and stitching show i've been to work for an hour to do some pediatric recess training and walked the dog like i showed you this morning 
and I'm still tidying up the sewing room but that's getting there I can actually see the floor <laughs> and now I've done my knitting and stitching show um, video about what I got I can put that all away now so that's another pile gone so win-win so I'm hoping after that my daughter's made a decision about what she'd like me to make her with the Halloween fabric so I'm going to make her the Tilly and the Buttons the battery decided to dye them anyway I, she's decided on the outfit she wants which is the Tilly and the Buttons Stella hoodie I think she liked the mushroom one so much and then I'm also going to do the tracksuit bottoms that come with it so she'll have a nice sort of lounge pants sort of lounge wear outfit um, as it's only Halloween fabric it's not something she can wear as a garment very often but I guess as lounge pants it doesn't really matter so much so that is my intention once I've cleared up the last few bits um, I've also got plans for um, the virtual social that I'm attending on Sunday um, again another the whistler top that I um, I've got it here actually that I said about in this gorgeous fabric I've just got to decide what length I want to do because I do like the, the shorter length that I've done for each one I've done so far but I do love that fabric unless I can find something else that I can squeeze the leftovers of it with so that's something I can think about um, something else that I've signed up for in the last couple of days is um, the So Confident CCC challenge I joined um, Jenny for three days where she'd done a challenge and we had to do a mood board we had to do um, a challenge about what we are negative about and how we can turn it into a positive and um, what was the other thing we did I can't remember now I'll have to think about that one anyway whatever it was it, it was good <laughs> I'll have to insert that in at some point and um, and after that we had the opportunity it wasn't like a hard sell or anything like that but we had an opportunity to sign up for the autumn winter capsule collection um, course that she's doing it's a 12 week course you get to make seven garments with a bonus eighth if you signed up before a certain time and I can't wait to do it because invisible zips are my nemesis I suppose you could say and also buttonholes I do them but if there's a better way of doing them I'd love to learn and being a visual learner I think this course is going to be great uh, the classes are all um, online and they're for life so if you want to go back over them at any point just to jog, jog your memory they're there so I'm looking forward to that and it starts in November so I'm hoping that I would have got most of my other bits and bobs sewn up by them for Christmas gifts but I can work around it that's not a problem anyway I'm now off and I will let you know later if I manage to cut out the Tilly and the Buttons pattern. Just got to clear the table first of all the bits I need to put away. <laughs> Bye for now. Hi, it's Wednesday afternoon. I've just finished my shift at work and had lunch and I'm now about to cut out the Stella hoodie top. I'm going to do that first just to make sure I've got enough fabric. But I'll just show you the fabric. This was the one I got in my night and haul. Sorry about the sun, but I do like natural daylight to cut out because I can see better. You can see they're all pumpkins. And it's such a colorful fabric. I think it's gonna look great for loungewear. So I'll show you how I get on later. Bye for now. So this is where I've got to so far. I've done it. So the lining is the same print. I'll try and show you now. And I've done my buttonholes and all I've got left to do is the sleeves and the pocket which I'll cut out once I've put the band on the bottom and I'm going to use some black ribbing for that this time so it's now what time 5 20 and we're going to go and walk the dog while it's still light outside and then I'll come back later good morning it's Thursday 
and I'm up early, which is why I'm not filming myself because I'm still in my pyjamas. Um, but I thought I'd show you something. I just paid Thread Roulette and unfortunately Thread won this time. It's my first reel of Meriflex used. Um, I was using my overlocker, but the blade decided to have a hissy fit around the hood of my Stella hoodie. So I've had to resort back to Meriflex, which as you know is my go-to. So I better find some more. Bye. So I'm just out walking the dog in this lovely park, but you'll probably be able to hear that it's pouring with rain. So I like to go on a walk in the morning with the dog. Um, I can think about what I'm going to be doing for the day. You might just see her in the picture. She's not really interested in cameras. She tends to shy away, but she's very good off the lead. So when no one's around, I'll let her off. But this park that I walk through has so many different scenery wise so many different days when it's sunny it's glorious sun shines through the trees but as you can see there's no sun today so I'm gonna have to dry off and dry the dog off when I get back we're still recovering from Storm Babette so that tyre normally is dangling in midair and as you can see it's touching the water. The river is up quite a lot at the moment. So I've just got back from my walk. I'm absolutely soaking wet so I think it's a day for lounge pants. They are really pretty on the bottoms but I bought this fabric in Joann's when I last went to Florida. So they're lovely and warm, got pockets. And I'm now gonna carry on sewing for the day. So I'm just doing the second cuff of my Stella hoodie. And I just wanted to show you how I do mine. Um, so that I don't sew the whole cuff first before checking it seam matches. I just do the, about a centimeter an inch of sewing and then just check it's okay which I think that one is before I carry on sewing the rest I'm quite excited about these cuffs I haven't done the ribbed cuffing with the Stella Hattie before and I'm going to do a band at the bottom so that should be finished in about 20 minutes and I can show you it finished bye for now so here she is all finished managed to do my pocket matching again which I'm really chuffed about I will insert a photo of my daughter wearing it and then what I did was I even lined the hood with the same fabric and if I can show you really closely so did I with the pocket so this time I used black cuffing which ribbed cuffing sorry which um, is brilliant went on really nicely. I had to unpick tiny little bits where they tucked for some reason but I was stretching it on the free arm of my sewing machine and then because she likes it extra long I did it on the bottom as well. So I'm really chuffed with that. Hello again. So it's Friday today and I haven't done any sewing. Um, what have I been up to? Ah I know I've got stuff to tell you. So I decided to buy um, a subscription to Stash Hub. It's $3.49 a month. So I get to the point where I want to make something and I'm out and about in a fabric shop and I'm having to go online and look for the actual pattern to see what I need. So my patterns have grown quite a bit and I just thought it might be a good idea to have it all on an app. Now, this isn't sponsored in any way. This is my personal opinion. I'm going to do it. It's going to take a long while because I have got lots of patterns, but it will make so much more sense and save me so much time in the long run because I can go onto my Stash Hub app on my phone and see what I need for a certain project. And also, in time, I'm going to add all my fabric as well. 
if I'm gone for about six months, you'll know why. <laughs> but it will make sense in the long run. Uh, I used to have another app where I um, logged all my fabric and where it was located. But when I upgraded my phone a couple of years ago, it disappeared and there was nowhere for it to be saved. I don't know what happened, but I lost it all. So it had put me off doing it again. But I think this one's better. They are um, progressing into um, having an online website as well. So you can view it all on there. So at least if I leave it on my phone or lose it on my phone, um, I can find it there. I, I reckon as an estimate, and please don't be too shocked, I've got about 180 patterns. So I've managed to do 25 so far. <laughs> but it is going to help me in the long run and it will also maybe help me um, thin out a bit of my patterns, but we'll see. And then, like I say, I'll go onto my fabrics. Um, most of them are put into drawers. You might have seen it in the background before. I've got labeled drawers for each type of fabric. So at least they are in the right place and also I have got them with measurements on because I went through that a couple of months ago. So that's Dash Hub. Also, my daughter uh, got some fat quarters from Aldi because they were autumn ones and she wanted me to make her a scrap busting poof like the one that I did at my workshop at Beautiful Things in Brentwood. So now she's picked them. Um, when I do my social, virtual social on Sunday, I thought that might be a good one to do because it, it does involve a lot of cutting out triangles but I would have finished, I'm actually starting night shifts tonight and I'll finish Sunday morning and the clocks are going back so that means 13 hours shift on Saturday night. Um, so I just wanted something that was quite simple, not have to think too much about it and be able to talk at the same time. So that's what my plans are for Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think of the new format where we're filming day to day. I didn't realise how much I'd actually filmed so that was good to see because I thought you were going to get about two minutes. If you could like or subscribe that would be appreciated and thank you to everybody that has already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now!